Welcome. Welcome to the Sunday live stream. Gonna be playing a bunch of walking sims. Exciting. Let me just set up a couple things and we'll get right uh, get started. Welcome. Okay, just check one last thing and I'll be ready to go. Okay, let's get started. Starting with the park. Let's look at the extras. I think, uh, huh. Okay. I don't have that. Let's start the game. Spark is a narrative experience best played in a dark room wearing headphones. It deals with subject matter that may be disturbing to some players. During the course of play, the park may manipulate graphics, audio control settings, and your sanity. This is the perfectly normal, and I didn't get to read the rest of that. Oh, by the way, if you, if you couldn't tell, the mic quality is much better. Because this is with my new headset. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Of course you do. Of course you do. Where's Mr. Bear? Hmm? Where I is? haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. <laughs> Where's Mr. Bear? Stay in the car. We'll go and ask information. I guess bef before we do that, I'll do a little exploring. There's, there's a little Callum in the... Oop, uh, uh, I can't move the mouse. What just happened? There we go. Okay. <laughs> Crisis averted. Let me just make sure this... Settings for video are all good. Nope. There we go. Okay. Um, sensitivity. I didn't really. So visual guidance. I don't know what that means, but I'll enable it. Uh, okay, let me just test out the... Oh yeah, the sensitivity on that's uh, pretty bad. Let me adjust that a bit. Maybe 
I don't know what the max will do. Mac the max is fine. It's good enough. I like having a sensitive mouse. <laughs> it's gonna take forever. <laughs> I can't adjust the walking speed. Oh my. It's gonna take forever to get around the whole parking lot. Trying to find any uh, secret exits. Also, that rock is glitching out a bit. I don't know if it has to do with my graphics card. I mean, I have a pretty sick graphics card. But the underside of that rock is the underside of that rock didn't uh, is not showing up very well. I can't jump. Oh, read no, what's this? Kids, he got in my other imagination. How do I is there like a side I guess I just have to read it. Let me check this settings again. Gameplay. I guess there is no Sidebar text. Okay. A kid from the academy told me this story. So don't blame me if it sounds silly. He might have been poking fun at a poor townie, but I'm writing this down because the League needs to know. William D. Someone is living in Atlantic Island Park. At night, you can see him there, tall and thin and ragged, a man in a suit who seems to disappear whenever he moves into the shadows. Seven of the kids from Innsmouth Academy snuck into the park over the fence one night. They wandered among the rides and the closed stalls. They could feel someone watching them. When they want to leave, oh, when they went to leave, there was only six of them. The weirdest thing, though, is that when they got back to the academy, none of the adults noticed that there was a kid missing. It was like the adults had their memories erased. It's the missing kid and everything about the, the, that the missing kid and everything about them. You mean about him or her? I don't know. Everything about them was just gone. The kids at the academy tried to remember. They called the, they called the man in the ragged suit, the boogeyman. And they say to be careful, because if he gets you, the whole world might just forget about you. Hmm. Can I not turn it over? No. That's not that kind of game. We're not playing until dawn. This is a walking simulator on PC. Old PC shouldn't, shouldn't really make a difference. Anything on the other side of this rock? Nope. Anything on uh, around? The other rocks I haven't checked yet. Where's that note? Where did I start off at? Let me continue following the rocks.
Okay, what? Is this a nest? Okay. Anything over here I should know about? No. Atlantic Island Park. Bingo. That way. Can I leave? Can I just leave? What the heck? Is there going to be an invisible wall up there or something? Why is it letting me go this far? I'm confused. Oh, what? Is there a dust storm happening? Oh, what? What just happened? Did it just teleport me back? I can't see anything. Oh no, it just wipes out a certain area. No, I have things I need to do in the park. Oh, you have things you need to do in the park. Oh my. What am I thinking? I can't leave. No. I have things I need to do in the park. Are you sure about that? Stop turning me around. Well, what am I thinking? I can't leave. What am I thinking? I can't leave. No. I have things I need to do in the park. Okay then. I guess we're going back. <laughs> you didn't have to put a mist there. You could have just could have just made an animation where or force you some way to walk back into the area. Okay, what do these vans say? Park maintenance. Okay. What the heck just happened? Is that the guidance that I enabled? A giant warping bubble thing? Let's examine the plaque. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. A tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who use their talents to bring the dream of Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect all those who follow after. Dedicated this first day of May 1977 by James B. Longley. Okay. We go in here, no. Oh, now I have it on better. Let me let me check the uh, stream to make sure that. The mic is not too loud.
welcome to the Welcome. 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 Okay, let me just make sure everything's good. Okay, let me just make sure everything's good. Okay, let me just make sure everything's good. Okay. Well, it seems a bit... I mean, the sound of my mic seems a bit glitchy. Um, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Just testing, hold on. Hold on a second. Just testing, hold on. Hmm. It's, it seems to keep, like, making some sort of noise when I'm talking. Oh, well, I'll have to, I mean, I'll have to deal with it. Can't go through there. Okay. Can't go through there. What the? Okay, cutscene time. What? What's going on? Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. What? How did he run into the park when all the gates were locked? Because I just... I just tried at least two out of three of the gates and they didn't work. You said you unlocked the gates. I guess that means you would unlock one of the gates. Oh wait, is that the exit gate? Is that why? Can I go into the restrooms? Nope. Let me just see if I can get rid of that. That weird graphic thing that's happening over there. With the uh, darkness that's all fuzzy. Uh, no, that didn't seem to affect it.
now nope That seems to partly help. Oh, yeah, there. I could just set the gamma to a certain amount to fix this problem. Maybe it's just my monitor. Not sure what's causing this problem. I can't change the gamma on my monitor. Okay. Okay, I'll have to stick with this. Okay. Does this have anything to say on it? Uh, Nathaniel Winter welcomes you to Atlantic Island Park. You look like uh, Willy Wonka. I'm guessing that's going to be green over there. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention the park is now closed. Um, what's happening? Why is that light breaking? And why is everything shaking? Uh, okay, apparently now it's nighttime. And it, it's all spooky. Why? Why? Can I go back down? No. Can oh I? God. The park. What happened here? Yes, what did happen here? I'm gonna go back down. Oh God, I can't. There we go. Now I can go faster. Oh, r toggle running. Okay. So I can just run the whole time. You catch me. Wait for mommy. Come back, Callum. Yeah, Callum, come back. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. I didn't even see where those birds were. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. This way, Mommy. Where did you go? Over here. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Come on, this way. Callum, where are you? Over here. At least he answers. That's a good sign. What am I stuck on? A rock, I think. Hmm. Well, this bench was knocked over. Any piece of paper over here? Nope. Uh, that just start. Why is that moving? <laughs> is it really that weak? That the wind can push it along. Can't seem to be able to push it myself. I'm incapable of of doing that. Stop playing the dramatic music. I'm not going that way yet. Stop, Callum. 
Catch me, mommy. Catch me, mommy. Hello there, lost game play. Oh yes, you are a mod. You're one of my old uh, followers. Uh, let's look it's at the map. Lost here. I I bet it is. Atlantic Island Park, Ferris Wheel, Octotron. Yeah, yeah, you were. Uh, bumper cars, roller coasters, sideshow alley, House of Horrors, Tunnel of Tales, and the entrance. Right now we're at, we're right next to Sideshow Alley. That's another map. Why would you need a map in both of those places? Uh, I guess it's fine. <laughs> well, bye. <laughs> what, are we scared of this sign or this building or what are we scared of here Carrie Killian is Satan's whore okay that's nice can I go in here too dark I'm not going in there without a flashlight oh <laughs> okay that was dramatic too dark I'm not going in there without a flashlight Can I go in backwards? It won't, it won't let me look that direction. I can't look that direction. Okay. I guess we're moving on then. Interact with that do that fake door. Callum, tell mommy where you are. This way. Where is this way? What the heck? What is that? Plastic? Why do I hear something squeaky? Or like a rope or something. I think this belongs to Calm. I hope you know it belongs to Calm or not. Calm, stay where you are. Over here. Examine plaque. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Okay. Chad the Chipmunk welcomes you to Atlantic Island Park. Chad can be seen in daily ice sculpting shows in the following locations. 11 a.m. Sideshow Alley. 1 p.m. The Octotron. 3 p.m. Park Entrance. Chad the Chipmunk. Worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry. Likes to fight. Chat is beaten every night. Chat will have a dead end job. Chat, Chat will die a useless slob. 
What a nice poem. What a wonderful poem. Can I go in this building? No, then why is why do you advertise it with a with a pretty bright light? Okay, we're saving again. I don't know what that means. Tunnel of tails. What would I miss? Oh, there's someone on that. On that one. Come on, mommy. What? Hello. Callum, stay where you are. Okay. Okay, I guess I'll ride this swan. What's gonna happen? I'm excited to find out. What's happening? Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very cold and had very little to bite or suck. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband, we will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife. What the heck just happened? That, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Callum, why did you go? Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Okay. That's nice. I guess. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. That's when their clever. father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Uh -huh. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. What's happening? broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. Okay. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, 
desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Yummy. That's delicious. my house an old woman emerged from the house sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes oh you dear children who brought you here just come in and stay with me no harm will come to you but Hansel and Gretel stayed back for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother Oh, sick burn. Come, children, sick don't be afraid. Burn. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. Yep. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside. Eat too many sweets. What? Once uh. inside the house, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall. Please don't do that. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? <laughs> Lol. Fool. Hilarious. The opening is oh, here. what happened here? To show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove. She and did. Crow tumble forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Is that really how the story goes? Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled and the witch was cooked. That's not how I remember the story. And then, because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. Oh, okay. It's an interesting story. Oh, hello there, Mr. Swan. How are you doing? Achievements, swans, gingerbread, and chocolate. I don't know why that's an achievement, but okay. Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Okay. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest, the birds, the old witch, even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Okay. I guess we're heading this way.
wonder where this will take us to. I didn't really pay attention to the map. Hello? Come out, sweetie. going on Oof. guess we're just walking to the next ride oh what's this why that light accident. this place what happened here A teddy bear with a knife in its eye. Despite the constant interruptions to work, Atlantic Island Park will be opening on time. The governor is booked to cut the ribbon, so the only real question is whether we will have any customers. I'm not truly worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. I deduced what was needed from the band writings of Archie Anderson. It's astonishing to think that a resonance of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. Anderson himself chose to use negative negative what and that caused and that caused some of the taint that still lingers in this plate in this place I will not make his mistakes very soon I will know if this has all been for nothing Okay. Hold on a second.
Okay, sorry about that. I had to do something important. Let's continue. Callum! Callum! This way? Where's this way? I can't even see where you are. Come out, sweetie! Over here. Where are why, you? Why are you whispering? This way, Mommy. Why are there are rocks falling around here. That's not very safe. The heck? What's that? Guess we're going this way. See the Octotron. Wait for mommy. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. Sure about that. Can I go in the water? Nope. Guess we're going over here then. Must be pretty expensive to have. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. Having a ride over water like this must be pretty expensive. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. I wonder what happened. Eyewitness reports. Atlantic Island Park incidents. Officer on duty. Sheriff F. Bannerman. Witness name Creed Norma. We were waiting for our turn on the ride. Frank, me, and the boys. This fellow in the chipmunk suit is making an ice carving while people took photographs. Lawrence wanted me to... Uh, Lawrence wanted to go over to him, but I've always been a bit wary of those suits. They give me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carry he was carving and picking away at the ice. At first, we thought he was making some animal, like a tiger or a lion. But as more and more ice fell away, when you first looked, it was like a, a human face. Smiling out of the block of ice. Not. Um. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportions. Something unnatural that made your heart begin to beat just a bit faster. Just a little bit faster. Like you were prey and that thing in the ice was a hunter. But then these teenagers walked up and one of them made a face at the carving and said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit. And then, well, he went berserk. For a few moments it was chaos. Everybody was running away from that the guy who had one of the teenagers on the ground and he was stab stab stabbing with the ice pick and blood was spraying and people were screaming and Frank and I had the kids and we were dragging them as fast as we could away and the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that I was at the eyeball of one of the poor kids that landed on the ice sculpture, making the horrible creature look more or less alive. Well, that is... That's, uh... Pretty interesting, actually. Guessing this is the exit. Or no. It's just blocked. Oh, read page. 
Frustrated by the fact that the plan seemed incomplete, I know as well as anybody that the rules of the game can be changed with enough money. But no matter how much money talks, it can't conjure up missing plans from thin air. I've tried contacting the organization who said who sold me these plans and they are stonewalling me every contact that I've had every contact that I had every meeting place that I had watched and watched are swept bare I have a sinking feeling that I have been swindled we've gone ahead with what we can find in the plants regardless the har harvesting machines, the transport mechanisms, etc. Probably let Nick Ellis name them something cute for the day we open the park. There will be rides after all. Can't get over there. Wonder where that leads. Okay. Uh, increase speed? How fast can this baby go? I can't tell if it's increasing anymore or not. Wow, that's fast. Let's decrease it. Let's just stop the ride. There we go. Let's ride the Octotron. So I have to interact with the sign. Okay. That is a creepy middle piece. Hmm. Wait. Who's that in the car? Oh, hi. You just spawned in here. Wow. That was... That was creepy. Oh, God. And that, God and that's, that guy is still in there. He's in the booth right there. Hello. Boo. Eyes out there. What the heck are you saying? Nothing. Examine Polaroid. Oh, I remember this. Family lies. Me and Callum. What kind of lies? Okay.
Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. They shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. The traitorous thought was that? What is in there? I thought working in the park for a summer would be a lot of fun. But the end of season here really drags. There aren't that many tourists around and... So most of the staff spend their days standing around gossiping. And most of that gossip is about Chad. I mean... Steve? See, even I'm starting to call him Chad. And I went to school with the guy. It's that goddamn suit. In the beginning, it was a laugh. Steve, the local lush... The local lush BS Chad. The chipmunk. Child-friendly mascot. At Atlantic Island Park. Lock up your daughters and all of that. But the more he wears that suit, the weirder Steve is getting. At first, it was little things, like refusing to change out of the suit at work and taking it home with him every day. But then I saw him at Susie's diner, still wearing it, and it wasn't even a work day. Some of the staff complained discreetly to park management about the smell and I saw him walking and talking with Mr. Winner the owner one day nothing seems to have changed the suit still smells like a carcass whenever Steve walks in and apparently Steve has picked up some new skills since the last time I saw him puking up in a gutter outside the psych oil station because, because he sure as hell can carve a mean ice sculpture those shapes he makes in the ice though they give me the creeps Steve came by the booth today lucky me and he just hung around for a while I couldn't really tell because of the suit but it seemed like he was just staring at me, sizing me up, eye screwing me, whatever he was doing. I asked him what he wanted, and he just stood there, not saying anything. Eventually, I called my supervisor, and when he came by, Chad, Steve, wandered off. My supervisor told me to put everything in writing, so here it is. Also, I quit. I don't want to see that Chuck, that chipmunk suit ever again. Laura Edmund. Oh, hi. Heck is this?
save, eh? Constant crashes in 80s music. I guess it floats someone's boat. Examine the device. What's this? No, 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 please, no. Uh, what? Stop! Stop, Doctor! Stop it, please! <laughs> Shocking revelations. So she went through some shock therapy? I mean, I don't know how painful that is, but... Can't feel good. What did she go through shock therapy for? We'll find out eventually. One of those has their lights on. Oh, I can push them. Can I? Maybe not. Okay. Examine accident report. Okay. Atlantic Island Park, ac Park accident report. Employee name Francis Dufrone. Let me check what that what that uh, achievement was. The achievement was... Hold on a second. Come on, load the page. So apparently it's called the shakes take a ride on the bumper cards cars. Okay, employee name Francis Dufrane Dufrans Dufrasne Time and date of accident slash incident October twenty fifth, nineteen seventy six. Job title and department, laborers working on the crane. 
Supervisor slash lead person, Richard Stapleton. Witness, Lawrence Creed, Michael Edward, Ed Edgeworth. Brief description of the accident or incident. During the transport of the bumper cars in the arena, one of the straps attaching the load to the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Describes it describe any injuries caused. Francis was killed. Did the injured employee see a doctor? <laughs> yes. If yes, did you file an employer's portion of a worker's compensation form? Yes. Supervisor's comments. Dexter, the truck driver, claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the straps. Nobody else reported seeing that. The sheriff has requested that Dexter provide them with urine samples. What could have been done to prevent this accident or incident? Double checking the straps after transit should be mandatory and a drug screening for and drug screenings for all drivers. Have the unsafe conditions been corrected? No. It's a photocopy. Any additional comments and notes? The local laborers are very super superstitious, and this hash oh hasn't helped. Some of them are refusing to return to work until we have someone from the local church walk the park and exercise the bad spirits. Okay then. Wait, what? Oh, no. Well, you almost crashed into me. Almost crashed into me. Good job. Let's go then. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Oh. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, Yes, Sheriff. Ah. Gas. Continually de delayed by the incompetence of the builders, the problem is that they are locals, so they believe a lot of rumors about the old man Henderson used to do here. They grew up on these on those tales. Every time a bolt comes loose or a wrench goes missing, these fools are cross crossing themselves against the black magic. Of course, that's why I chose the site over all the poten all other potentials. Solomon Island is a nexus for dark energies, and the thought of all that power just dissipating beneath the earth here 
basically a skin crawl. I called in a few favors back in Brooklyn and got someone at the local academy to see if they had any interesting books about local history. Turns out they do, and it turns out that old man Henderson has some pretty strong connections to the Brooklyn crowd. Perhaps, perhaps something he wrote will help me find the piece of the plans that I am missing. Okay. side where they may there may be a secret page. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go down here and see if I can find anything. Page. Any secret pages? No? Okay. And I wasted my time. Time to go back. Let's go on the Ferris wheel. Increase the speed. That's disconcerting. too fast for the Ferris wheel. I'm just going to bring it down so I can get on it. All the way down to zero. Almost there. And... And we're at zero. Okay. Let's ride the Ferris wheel. Why not? People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. It's pretty creepy. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. 
But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Well, that was fast. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. It's horrible. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Ah. Uh. That sucks. That's that's really not good at all. Oh hi. You Going again. I wonder if there's any point to getting back on the rides. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, seriously. I'll just exit through the through here. Ooh, a slope. Can I get up there? What the heck? What was that? Looks like I can't go any farther. Guess we'll get back on the path. What's this? Uh, what? That's from the Ferris wheel, isn't it? What happened to these Ferris wheel carts? Take roller coaster ticket. Um, where did that come from? Spin, spin, sugar is the name of the achievement. A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk. Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them. Little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... We all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. I kind of agree with most of what she said. I mean, abandoning him? Eh, you could just put him up for adoption. That that would be the the best thing you could do if if you didn't want him. Let's go into the roller I coaster. I to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. I've only ridden one roller coaster in my life. 
and it was very painful. Ride the roller coaster. Ups and downs. Oh, hi again. What do you want? Uh, we need to talk about now you're suddenly here. What do you mean? What have you done to him? I. That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. The witch has it now. Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just... just leave me alone! Fool. You always were. Ooh, sick burn. Okay, bye. Um, what? Uh, what is happening? Uh... All that something. I didn't get to see that. Not safe. Can taste your dreams. Going to the mouth of the witch. R running over Callum. <laughs> I don't get what all this means. Is us giving birth to Callum? Oh my. Take flashlight. The witch awaits. Hope's light is the achievement. Hmm. I guess we're going to the witch. Callum has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. I've asked him, demanded really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. Uh, what? When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. They are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can't save him. And there will be pain. But I love him, and in the end, he will understand why. What's with the sudden change in attitude here? I thought you didn't like uh, children. Sideshow Alley. Okay, let's read this newspaper. The whole town was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. Achievement Killer Instinct. Cotton candy corpse leaves sour tastes in park goer's mouth. By how Laurel. Great title, Howl, uh, Howie. Yesterday evening, visitors to Atlantic Island Park were shocked and horrified by the discovery of a dismember, dismembered corpse behind the cotton candy stand. 
According to the local authorities, the corpse has yet to be identified. However, they have confirmed that the remains appear to be those of a child. The corpse was discovered by a group of teenagers from Innsmouth Academy who noticed a pair of ravens tugging at something just out of sight behind the shack. Nathaniel Winter, the owner of Atlantic Island Park, has released his following statement. It is a true tragedy when something like this occurs, especially in a place that was designed to bring forth happiness and joy. The staff of Atlantic Island Park offer their condolences to the family and friends of the victim and will cooperate fully with authorities to help bring the case to rest. The Solomon Crom Chronicle will provide daily updates on the story going forward. Okay. What the heck? It's over here. Nothing. Pickled punks. <laughs> the management is not re responsible for diseases contracted via the kissing booth. That's hilarious. Go there. Okay. Nothing over here. Nothing back here. Blood. Uh, hello. Yep, that's the corpse, all right. You can't run past it. Poor bastard. Who did this to him? I wonder. Okay. Um, why can't I walk backwards? Oh, hi. Hello there, it's Waffle 101. Okay. You should watch the, uh, the VOD when it comes out. You haven't seen the full game yet. I'm going to be playing more walking sim games right after this as well. The, these are mine. They're yours. Okay. I guess we're going to take them. Okay. Only dead fish follow the stream. Your mother, clearly, she has high standards. Say no to graffiti. Some kids laugh and some kids cry, but mostly children simply die. All that you loved will be carried away. 
1980s. Are you better off than you were four years ago? Reagan 80. Don't believe anything they tell you. Fear the boogeyman. Stop picking your nose then. Destroy reality. Screw gravity. I can taste your dreams. Not safe. The league. Sheriff Bannerman is a fat pig, but his daughter is hot. <laughs> okay. What happened in here? Oh, hello. Turn around? Why would I want to do that? What the? Okay, bye. Hello. Okay. That was strange. I thought I was in a room, but now I'm... Back over here. Boom. I didn't even do that. I didn't even knock over the teddy bears. Thanks for the follow. It's Waffle101. Don't touch me. Hold on. Don't leave me here, Callum. Yeah, don't leave me here. Future Times by Laurel and Howdy. Belly button is the signature of your personal creator. I believe her name was Mama. Every seventh child is a magnet for sinfulness made omniscient by broken fires in the co coastal strain. We don't believe that the earth belongs to the battered to battered goats and shamrock after birth. Only the truly naked wrens of righteous indignation are severed by war crossed cleavages in trust exercise arrhythm arrhythmia. Beaumont will con Come to the island, bearing the talisman, and he will shatter the seals that bind the orthodoxy of corruption. Only then will priests shoot, let's reveal, housewives pontific pontificate, and delayed messiahs make axles for the rescue of Tango and Cash. Sweet the temp the temptress who grips the shaft, twists the shaft, absconding with the third age ter tire into fourth age darkness, while gods lie writhing on the shattered face of the earth. Gale has sweetness and grace, but her days are numbered and heavy-fisted hives break f before frozen wills and silligraph actresses in pencil and paper pornography. The all-seeing eye will provide decade-long updates on this story going forward. Men arrested for loitering. Okay. Well, that was something. <laughs> Boom. Go off into space. Oh, now that guy is gone. I guess it's time to move on. Huh? Uh, what is happening? What, did she cut herself a bunch?
Have fun at Swaffle 101. Achievements. What a strange trip it's been. The park is a collage of contradictions all of its own. Okay. Millions of people die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Hear the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised a toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. Okay. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. I guess we'll go inside then. I'm surprised that the, that they got the timing exactly right, so it would arrive there, there right after the dialogue ended. Okay, achievement: House of Horrors. Read page. Done. Atlantic Island Park has closed its gates. A jeering throng of town folk, get a town town folk, gathered as we hung the heavy iron padlock on the gates. Small-minded folks scared of what they don't understand. My machines lie silent and dejected, but I am not beaten. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston, and I have retreated here to the House of Horrors. I must think. Okay. What are you thinking about? Oh, hi. Callum. Callum. Oh, hi, me. You look... I don't know what, what you look like. Oh. Why is the House of Horrors even active at this point? You stupid, cheap jump scare. She got me. What the heck? What just happened to that? There was something right here. There's one of those boards, like right here. I see you. Bah? Scare me? No? Okay. Can I open this door? No. Hmm. Wow. That just happened. Hello up there. Can't scare me, you two. Can I touch this? No, okay. Hello there. down there can I turn these generators off so I can stop the house of horrors from scaring me further uh, 
I see your shadow, but where are you? Are you beneath here? I don't see you anywhere. You're not underneath here. At least it doesn't look like you're here. Maybe it's just a shadow. I don't know. Okay, what's next? I see you down there. Oh. Whew. Hi. Don't scare me, please. What the heck? Hello? What's in here? What the heck? I have my flashlight. Flicker. What the heck? Why does that have four legs? That's weird. Hmm. Anyone around this corner? There's someone right there. How about down here? Is there a chain hook and a chair? That's not very. That's not very positive. Hmm. Is there nothing in here of interest? I guess not. Let's go this way. Uh, it's just more meters. Hello there. That wasn't scary. I thought there was something back there. I didn't see that thing on the floor. Oh my god. Okay. Anything around this corner? No. Anything in here? Is this blood or not? I can't tell. What the heck? What was that sound? Oh, read page. Incidents, and I cannot dismiss them as random chance. The park works, but something is interfering with its intended function. It's as though the very air in this place is corrupting the power, even as I collect it. Few casualties here and there are acceptable, but when employees go on stabbing rampages, it draws attention. I'd rather not have the boys in blue, either kind. 
What's the other kind? I don't really know if police boys in blue. Investigating this place too closely. It's a shame about Steve. I rather liked him. Okay. Moving on. Hi. Boo? No. No boo. Oh, hi. I see you there. You can't scare me. Yo, bait and switch. You mother. Supposed to go in there. Hello. I see you in there. I see you there, too. Anything in here? No. Looks I can read? No. Can I go over here? No purpose. Yes. Guess we're going inside the mouth of the clown. Locked. Locked. I heard something. Okay. Let's go into here. Nightmare Circus. A circus burns to the ground on opening night, killing dozens. The owner is put to death by an enraged mob of townsfolk just as he shouts out a curse. Now Raven, a dark-souled wanderer, comes to the ruins at dusk in search of his missing mother. Let the show begin. Okay, then. After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone-deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father... Coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now. Lost and afraid. Things never got any better. Dunwich Power Company. Disconnect notice. 
After multiple attempts to collect payment, we regret to inform you that your service has been disconnected or will be disconnected shortly. Please do the following. Make the payment listed on your last bill. Contact us on 555-7868 and we can arrange a payment plan so that you can immediately be reconnected. If you believe that this is an error, call us on 555 7869 to discuss your options. If you're unable to make payment, please contact your local welfare office to discuss a placement for you and your loved ones. Winter in Maine is cold and brutal. Don't face it without electricity. The Dunwich Power Company. A shocking true story, Hunger, the true story of the Donners. On April 16, 1846, a group of covered wagons began the 2,500-mile journey to California. Just eight months later, they found themselves stranded in the Sierra Nevada mountains with very little to bite or sup. It was to become one of the greatest tragedies of the westward, westward migration that the world has ever seen. Now our panel of Donner experts have uncovered the compelling evidence that the families were forced to resort to cannibalism in order to survive that terrible winter. In this never-before-seen expose read about how the Donner children were forced to eat their brothers and sisters in order to survive. All here in the pages of this shocking true story. Nice. Callum's cap. Give him to me! What have you done with him? The wilting Susan... Anscombe. With this novel, Susan Anscombe cements her place as one of the most important science fiction writers of a generation. The Wilting. A solar flare has struck the Earth. Millions of people are uprooted from their homes. A young meteorologist searches desperately for a way to stop global overheating. And an exotic dancer named Chance O'Hara is the key to saving the world, again. D dynamic, exciting, bombastic, everything we've come to expect from an Anscombe novel. Chance O'Hara is back, and you better believe that she's bigger, better, and bolder than ever. Okay. Rubik's Cube. I love you from Callum. From Callum. Read shopping list. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks. Remember, drop off Callum. Electric bit. Electricity bill, fixed faucet. Looks like the faucet's broken. Examine wrench. Okay. It's a wrench. I don't get it. Something I should know about this wrench? Can open that door. Open the fridge. Lovely chicken dinner and some apples. And wine as well. I don't know what those bottles back there are though. That's locked as well.
Miss Mallard, as we are agreed in our meeting today, we consider you fully recovered from your illness. This letter is a notification that you are considered sound of mind and body and may return to work at any time. Please note that you should con discontinue any medication that you've been using and dispose of any remaining medicines. If you feel at any time that you are suffering a relapse, suffering a relapse please make contact with your local physician immediately. We wish you continued good health. Dr. Spencer Dunwich Medical. Lorraine, I received your letter and I'm quite surprised. You ran off with your father all those all of those years ago. Then disappeared off the edge of the map, and then when I finally track you down, you refused to answer any of my letters. And now you write to me asking for help? I have another family now and another life. Your father was a horrible man, and I regret the years I wasted with him. I loved you, I truly did, but every year you grew more and more like him. You were his girl, not really mine. Never really mine. Still, I would have fought for custody if you hadn't ran away with it. It broke my heart, but I need to go on living. I can't let you back into my life without picking off old wo open old wounds. I'm sorry, Lorraine, but I just can't do it. Maybe one day it'll be easier and I can meet Callum, but not yet. I'm not ready to forgive you. Please don't contact me again. Karen. A toy. Just static. Can I adjust the antennas? No. Gosh, it's dark in that one area. Dunwich Emergency Services. Patient name... Lorraine Kimberly M Mallard. October, uh, yeah, October 17th, 1977. Discharge stats. November. November 10th, 1977. Diagnosis, depression. Lorraine seems to be suffering from depression that began early in her pregnancy. Our discussions have made it obvious that these episodes stem from the grief of losing her partner, Dawn, who died about six months ago. There are also several unresolved issues with her father. After being kept under careful observation, we provided standard treatment for this disorder, including electroconvulsion therapy. The patient responded and made a rapid recovery. After care recommendations, weekly follow-up with the local physician, mood stabilizers, lithium-based. Discharge instructions. Lorraine has a newborn son, Callum, who was placed, placed in foster care shortly after birth when Lorraine displayed symptoms of disorientation and depression. It is her judgment that R Lorraine is fit to have her son return to her as long as she follows her recommended after care routine. and continues with her medication. We have faith that she will be able will be an effective caregiver. Lorraine has her own housing and her employer, Susie, has said that she's welcome to return to her shifts at the diner. Norma Creed, a local woman, has offered to take to care for Callum while the, while Lorraine 
Lorraine works. It is with this support network in mind that we feel confident releasing Lorraine from this institution. A prescription for Zilift that can be filled at Flag's Pharmacy in Kingsmouth. She's been advised to start with a 50 milligram dose and then based on the advice of her doctor to increase the medication as needed. Okay. Peckshire, Mandelson, and Stapleton, Montana. Boston, Montana. Miss Millard, our inquiry in this in the into the estate of Mr. Donald Williams has been completed. Regret to inform you that the primary beneficiaries his of his estate, including the life insurance settlement for accidental death, were listed as Rolls Williams and Richard Williams of New York State, the deceased parents. Our agency made contact with Mr. and Mrs. Williams and explained your situation, especially as regards the birth of Donald's son, Callum. Unfortunately, they were not receptive to our overtures, and they specified that without any legal proof of a biological relationship, they consider you ineligible to receive any of the m monies from Donald's estate. They've asked that we no longer contact them regarding this matter. I understand that this may have a negative impact on your current financial situation and I hope that I am not being too forward when I, when I enclose the bill for our services with this letter. Sincerely, Edward Stapleton, Attorney. Wow. She has, to, she has to pay money instead of getting money. Looks like we're going back through again. Okay. Nightmare Circus. The park. It was a wait, wait, waitin' on a child for take, take, taken. Using joy for bait, bait, baitin'. While their mother's mind is break, breakin'. Analgesia win. Pills. Um, take two tablets by mouth. The morning, then one tablet whenever you have an episode. An episode. Okay. Lorraine, things aren't right between us at the moment. I know I want to I want to try and explain it. I think it's because I'm so far from from home and I'm working so hard. Every day working at the park it gets worse like a spring in my side, mine, I mean, a spring in my mind, winding tighter and tighter and tighter. When we go for drinks after work, it gets a little better. The guy is... The, 
oh the guys relax and we laugh and we're we're good people again I don't want to come home to you without being in my right mind but when this job is done you need to get out of this place you need to go back to the city where I don't feel like this anymore I love you Donald yes I was thinking about names for boys and girls I like Callum for a boy and Emma if it's a girl okay I guess we already read that story of hollow Demore. In the spring of 1933, the Soviet Ukraine, an entire population, found themselves without food. Over the course of the coming months, the situation grew critical, and reports of mass, ma mass malnutrition began to filter into the upper echelons of government. The people had been left with very little to bite or sup. It has become the greatest tragedies of mass starvation that the world has ever seen. Now our panel of Soviet experts have covered compelling evidence that the families were forced to resort to cannibalism in order to survive in the, that terrible winter. Did I already read this? I think I already read that. The wilting. Oh, with this novel, Lorraine cements her place as one of the most important science fiction writers of a generation. A solar cell, a young meteorologist, an exotic dancer named Lorraine. Everything we've expect, we've come to expect from my from Lorraine novel. Lorraine is back. Oh my! Rubik's cube has letters on them. She see. Hmm. Ball. Her. I don't know if there's something I'm supposed to see in that or not. I love you from Callum. I already read that. What's happening? The pills? Uh, Show yourself, Callum. I see you. Show yourself. What have you done with him? Where is my boy? Stop! Don't. Okay. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks, Zolif prescription, 
Remember, take the pills. Follow up with Dr. Spencer. Look at nice babysitter for Callum. Watch it still is broken. Still hasn't been fixed, and they're wasting water. It's locked. Okay. Lorraine, I received your letter and I'm quite surprised. You ran off with your father all those years, then disappeared off the edge of the map, and I finally. Like I didn't run away. Dad took me. Oh my. that did I is there something else on there she spilled her coffee on it maybe okay Um, hi. Will you let me open the door? I guess not. What's different now? A chipmunk goes stab, stab, stabbing. The eyes. In the eyes that jab, jab, jabbing. And all the townies, gab, gab, gabbing. Just lie down and let it happen. Pascal Ganglia win. So far, working hard, every day working at the park. Oh, she burned the letter. Towards the pills. Story of Hansel and Gretel. Long time ago in the forest of the woods, woods there lived a woodcutter, his wife and his two children, a boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had little, very little to bite or sup. The story has been doctored to hide the truth from the unsuspecting public. Now our panel of fairy tale experts have uncovered Telling evidence that Hansel and Gretel were in fact eaten alive in this never before seen expose read about how their parents inexpertly tried to cover it up by telling stories about a witch in a house made of candy all here in the pages of this sh shocking fake story oh my Don't leave me! Blood on the cap. Oh, her lie. Oh, I guess we'll see the complete one next time. Love you from Callum. Oh, 
What is that painting? Painting like that in this room? Oh. That's definitely art. Blood on the floor. Milk, solar prescription, cheese prescription, bread prescription, butter prescription, corn prescription, potatoes prescription, apples prescription, fish sticks. Remember, more pills, tickets to Atlantic Island Park. Oh my. Sink is still broken. Tried to fix it. Not really working. Is that Callum crying? Is that her crying? Creepy pictures. Well, this is different, I think. No, it's not. I mean, not that different other than the blood in the chair. Bloody chairs. A history of Solomon Island. Make me look at it. And then she ripped it up and sport uh, spilled coffee on it. Thank you. Thank you, William, for the new watch. It is very nice. It has made me a happy carrot. I guess that's Callum drawing. Those creep pictures are getting creepier. There's a picture of that monster drawn over that page. Down we go again. I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? Okay. Oh, hi, tangling babies. Nightmare Circus, fair and calm. A boogeyman goes a walking, a walking, walking, sneaking, stock, stealing, a stock, stock, stocking. Is he really a talk, talk, talking? Now is not the time for balking. Cerebral cortex win. The story. A woodcutter is dead. The witch always wins. The woodcutter is dead. The witch always wins. All here in the pages of this broken story. Baby in the bed. Blood all over. picture of 
It's not Lorraine, is that? Is that Lorraine and and her husband, or her soon to be husband? A son will. Oh, can you hear us, Lorraine? A sun will struck the earth. Millions of cattle are uprooted from their homes. A young shadow searches desperately for a way to stop global domination. And an exact answer, listen, Lorraine, is the key to saving the world again. Dominating, exciting, ir irrepressible. Answer us, Lorraine. Lorraine, we are watching. Okay. Bye. See her try. See her lie. Hmm. I guess it's still not complete yet. That's creepy. I can't see that, it's too far away. Um, pills instead of the baby head. Shopping list. Nothing but Zillow prescriptions. Remember, you're alone, nobody loves you. Column is no longer whom he once, who he was, he once was. And there is what the heck? An ice pick? Nope, don't. Nope. Open. There you go. A bloody ice pick. What the heck? I've been drawing. Oh, I love you. Picture was burned. There's a baby in the oven. Baby doll. That door's locked. Knew it. Okay, that happened. Oh, that door is banging. Open up. Now she burned that. I don't know if she burned it previously. Um. Hmm. Oh, Miss Mallard, as we agreed in our meeting today, we consider you to be <laughs> bat poop screwing insane. Let's be clear: you're no way in sound of mind and body, and you are in danger to a danger to everyone around you. Please note that your only escape from this should be drugs. A poop ton of them. 
smoking, sorting, oral, intravenous, take them any way you can, as often as you can. That can only make your life better. In case there's any doubt, you're suffering from relapse, and nobody really cares. Nobody can help you now. Don't screw this up. Have a nice day. Dr. Spock. Dr. Spock. Sandwich Medical. Baby doll with a wine bottle. Toy looks kind of bloody now. And she ripped that paper up. And she scribbled out that creature that the boy Callum drew. Police. Nothing on the hooks anymore. Lorraine, Lorraine, I needed to focus on what we're discussing. The chipmunk killer, Steve Gardner. He was locked away for what he did to those kids. Nathaniel Winter hasn't, hasn't been seen in years, but he's nowhere near Atlantic Island Park. We've established this. You know this. Ah, uh, uh, the walls are oozing blood. Ask her why, see her cry, say bye-bye, see her lie, see him die, see her cry, see her try. Okay. I don't know what all this means. Oh, I see bodies in the other room. Hold on a second. Let me look through all these. The sun will be devoured. All, all the cattle will be enslaved. The shadow lies on the future, on your future, our domination. If you listen, Lorraine, you, you are, are key to damning the world. We are irrepressible. You can. Only join us, Lorraine. Lorraine, we are one. You're talking. Can you hear us, Lorraine? Hello there. And... The list is rip ripped up. Forget is the bottom part. Forget Don, Dad, and Ka Don't forget Callum? I thought you would despise him at this point. Why wouldn't you want to forget him? The baby is burning in the oven. Can open the door. There is a teddy bear with an ice pick. And there's also a possum or something? Dead awesome also there's bodies it's raining blood blood's coming out of the uh is it coming out of the pipes no, it's just dripping from the ceiling. 
Oh guys, mis mixing together with the water. Happy as uh, a history of Solomon Island. Burned. A hundred milligram tablet? What the heck? You will watch me rot. The smiley face. That makes everything better. Smiley face. That page is burned as well. Here we go down again. different place. Looks totally normal. It's like a library of sorts. Leave me alone! Stories are told again and again, and from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. A child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of this story, the mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch, but I am, aren't I? Possibly. But there's nothing wrong with being a witch. Which is our one of my favorite roles in Town of Salem. Is there a book I should be picking up somewhere? Like on this table? No. Oh, History of, of Solomon Island. Kids broke in today. It's been so long since I heard laughter. So very long. I took one of them. I couldn't help myself. It was fast. The others didn't notice. I liked hearing him laugh. This boy from the academy. I put him on a slab. I tickled him until he couldn't breathe. My machines came to life, worrying in time to his gasps and shrieks. I think this is delightful. The change wrought in me by the machines is not yet complete. There must be other children I, I can lay on my slab. Okay. Eyes without sparkle. book. Hansel and Gretel. My brother's grim. Oh hi secret passageway. I love secret passageways. Oh we're back in the house of horrors. Um what? What's happening?
Uh oh, it's a slab. Callum. Callum's on the slab. Oh, hi Chad. I mean Steve. What are you doing here? Uh, what are you doing? Why do you have a pickaxe? Um... Okay, so that mo the monster set her up to kill her son? Maybe? Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> hey, Lorraine. Lorraine, Lorraine, wake up. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Lose things. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. On a slab? Me stabbing him? In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Well, obviously that's where he it, he was. That's where he stabbed him. Somewhere there in the House of Horrors. Achievement, dreamlike state. And that's the end. The park, while it may not... Mm, excuse me. Well, it may not be... As highly rated as other walking sims, I think is definitely a a uh, walking sim horror game you should check out. It's full of it's full of wonderful scares, bombastic personalities, amazing story. And while it's not perfect, it's still very. They're like very entertaining and very uh, thought-provoking. So I suggest, suggest you play this game for yourself. And you can check out my YouTube if you're watching this on Twitch. Where I'm going to post this. If you're watching this on YouTube, check out my Twitch channel. And... And if you're, uh, if you want to see channel updates, then check out my Twitter. This has been The Park. I'll see you in a few minutes for What Remains of Edith Finch, which is also a walking sim game. I'm going to be playing an, as well uh, Firewatch right after that. Three, uh, I'm pretty sure the only three walking sim games I have in my library currently. So I'll see you there. Bye.